Hey guys, welcome back to Plops and Props. Today I am in the car with my best friend Corbin. Hello! And we are on our way to the Toronto Fan Expo. So, let's get started. Hey guys, so we made it into Fan Expo. I think we're just gonna wander around for a bit and then we'll check out these celebrity tables to see what the times are for the signatures. Hey guys, so I'm here in line at Charlie Cox's booth. We're just gonna wait to get his signature and then we might get someone else's, we're not too sure yet. Okay, so what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, nice to meet you, Patrick. So where do you want the quote on the front? Ah, uh, yes please. In red. Does your hand ever get sore doing all these? Yeah, I actually, I actually broke my finger in the summer, so it's really, it's, I'm noticing already in my hand. Oh no. I just got hit. How did you break it? Playing paddleball. Oh yeah. It's, you have to make up a story like you're getting mugged or something like that, you know. Shark attack. Yeah, exactly, Shot see? Shark attack, yeah. not very dead. No, <laughs> exactly. It's awesome. so weird to hear you speaking your British accent. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you see you speaking your American accent in the show. Right. Yeah. It's so yeah, yeah, it's incredible like how you're able to do that. Oh, thank you so much. What was your name again? Patrick. I appreciate you, Patrick. Awesome. I'm Corbin. Lovely Great to meet, to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Won't you? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Have a good one, sir. Thank you. So guys, we made it over to our first Funko Pop booth. There was a wall of Funko Pops. There were just so many to look at. At the top of this one shelf, they had a bunch of Guardians of the Galaxy Funko Pops. I thought these were sweet. Over here, I saw some of the brand new Blue Beetle Funko Pops. And over here, they had a bunch of Batman Funko Pops. This diamond one was pretty sick. Coming on down, they also had a bunch of Teen Titans Go Funko Pops, as well as some of the Gotham Knights. And check out this Reverse Flash Funko Pop. Also, take a look at these Star Wars chases they had over here. There were so many. Down below, I found this really awesome Darth Maul Funko Pop. I've been debating on picking this up, but I'm not too sure yet. Coming on over, they had some Cad Bane and this really sweet looking Darth Vader pop. Over here, they had some pretty sweet exclusives. Over here, I found a bunch of Game of Thrones Funko Pops, and I know my buddy Ryan Milky loves to collect this set, so I wanted to show them off. I also had no idea that these Funko Pops existed. And continuing on, they had a bunch of really expensive Funko Pops like this Heisenberg, Faith from Buffy, The Gentleman, and Xander from Buffy. On the other side of the same booth, they had a bunch of really expensive Disney Funko Pops, and this is for all of you Disney fans out there. They also had a huge selection of My Hero Academia Funko Pops. I was hemming and hawing if I wanted to pick one up. Finally, I came across the horror section, and they had some pretty good ones, but I really did enjoy this Hedwig from Split. Over at our next booth, I saw a lot of animation pops like The Simpsons. They had so many of them. It was unbelievable. Over here, I found a few horror Funko Pops like Carrie. This is a pretty good one. They also had the Blacklight Frankenstein. And I'm not too sure what this one is, but it does look pretty sweet. Moving along, we also have some of the Lost Boys. Over here, I found a pretty sweet chase. This is La Llorona, but it was mixed in with a bunch of random pops. I also found a bunch of Chase Candyman Funko Pops. They also had an insane amount of anime Funko Pops. It was wild. They also had a huge selection of Star Wars Funko Pops. Now, most of these were from the Mandalorian set, and I was on the lookout for some Rebels, so no luck here. Hey guys, so we are here with Reef from Cartoon Fox Guy. He's got a little mystery mini here that he's gonna be opening up for us. Reef, do you wanna say anything towards the fans? Yes, um, I wanna say hi to everyone. Whoever, whoever watches Pops and Props, hello. It's good to see you guys, and today's been a great day at the con. Uh, great seeing you as well, Patrick. It's been nice and to see you too. Yeah, it's a very hectic day today. It sure but is. I guess let's get into this. So, so far, only two I have. Where is he? So I have these two up here. Oh, those are good ones. I'm hoping no dupes. That would be amazing. So let's yeah. see if there's a way I can open this without the box gets wrecked all well. Yeah. I don't really like these anymore. The boxes. I have one at home, but <laughs> just kind of just destroy this one. Okay, let's see. What do you do? I mean, if it's a deck, I take a glow one. Oh, 
No, okay, I'll tell you this much, it's a new one. If you have someone I don't have, let's see what it is. That's a cool one, here Jack. That's an awesome Whoa. one. Whoa. Jiro. She's a 124. Yo, that's solid. That's actually not bad. Yeah, that's awesome. There you go. Damn, nice pull. Yeah, that's a good pull. Ten dollars. Congrats. That's awesome. Damn. It's good seeing you guys. Thank you for taking time. I'll have a video out too soon. Hopefully, if I get the footage properly together. <laughs> well, Thank I'll send my followers over to your channel to check it out. Awesome. Can't wait to see you guys in this video. Subscribe and like. Hey guys, so I am back from Fan Expo. Let's go through everything that I got. And I know it looks like a lot, but really there wasn't that much that I picked up. So I guess we'll just go in order of appearance. So first off, Corbin and I went to these celebrity tables to get some Funko Pops signed. Some of the lines were absolutely crazy, but we actually bumped into my friend Angel, which was nice enough to let me in line with her to get Charlie Cox's signature. And let me show you guys how the signature looks. I am really happy with it. I decided to go with a quote devil of hell's kitchen and then I got his signature and DD for daredevil underneath It was such a cool experience meeting Charlie Cox He was so nice and genuine in person and I absolutely will not get rid of this Funko Pop So after that Corbin and I just decided to wander around fan expo and see what we can find But we actually bumped into a couple of my friends angel and wreath from cartoon fox guy We decided to do a little bit of pop hunting together and this is when I picked up a couple of Funko Pops and it's really funny because they are both anime related. The first one I got here is the Hot Topic Expo Yuji Itadori with Sukuna Mouth. This is a Funko Pop that I had my eyes on for a while, but once I saw it at Fan Expo, I just knew I had to pick it up. I really do enjoy this Hot Topic Expo sticker. I think it looks really, really cool. It's definitely a new one to add to my collection. But as for the Funko Pop itself, I really do enjoy that we can see Sukuna's mouth appearing through Yuji's cheek. I think that's such a creepy little touch, and I'm so glad they actually made a Funko Pop like this because it does happen in the anime. And just by chance, I actually did pick up up another Jujutsu Kaisen Funko Pop. This is Togi Inumaki, and this is another one that I really do enjoy. It's really funny how he talks in the show because he's got this big collar around his neck and his words are very muffled. It kind of reminds me of Kenny from South Park. But there is a really cool chase to go with this Funko Pop where his collar is unzipped and he's got the tattoos on his face. It's such a cool chase that I really hope to pick up sometime soon. After pop hunting with my friends, Corbin and I decided to head back to the celebrity tables and see how bad the lines actually were. We head on over to the voice actors section and the lines were actually super quiet so I decided to get some My Hero Academia Funko Pop signed. And the first one I got signed was this new Tenya Ida Funko Pop and this one looks so, so good. The actor who does the English dub for Tenya Ida, his name is J. Michael Tatum, and he was such a nice guy in person. He also added the quote on the Funko Pop. It says right here, I am in Genium, which is Tenya Ida's superhero name. I thought that was a really nice touch. I also really do enjoy how he did the two tones with the paint pens. I think the blue and the white look so amazing together. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this Funko Pop authenticated, but knowing that I was actually there in person getting the signature is way better proof. And it's also just an amazing experience. And as a matter of fact, I didn't just get Tenya Ida signed, I also got another My Hero Academia Funko Pop signed. This is Sir Night Eye, and he was signed by Brian McInnes. And I know it's probably really hard to read the quote, but this is what it says right here. Without joy and laughter to balance the sorrow, this world can never hope for a bright future. I think that quote is really insightful and it really just fits the character so well. One thing I also really like is when Brandon was doing his signature, he actually drew out the glasses outline underneath his signature. That's such a cool little touch. And I really do enjoy when 
when actors have their own little flourish to go along with their signature. It's just a really cool addition. One thing I forgot to mention is that I actually had to pick up these Funko Pops before I got them signed, so it was kind of fun wandering around Fan Expo trying to find these Funko Pops. It made for a very fun challenge. And Corbin was a huge help with it. We looked everywhere for some My Hero Academia Funko Pops. At the very end of the day, when we got back to Yorkdale Mall, I actually met up with my friend John to do a Funko Pop trade, and he gave me this amazing Stranger Things Funko Pop. This is Eddie from Stranger Things Season 4. I have been looking for this Funko Pop for a very long time, and I did not want to have to pay an arm and a leg for it, so the trade was a really nice idea because I didn't have to spend any money. So a big shout out to John for doing this Funko Pop trade. He will be a great addition to my Stranger Things collection. And if you guys do want to see what I gave John, please feel free to follow him on social media. His Instagram handle is Funko Pop Plus. I know for a fact that he did a post of the Funko Pops that I gave him, so head on over and check that out. So that is pretty much everything for the event. I had so much fun. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to my friends Wreath and Angel for hanging out with me. It was so fun to do some pop hunting together. And last but not least, I can't forget to mention Corbin. Thank you so much for putting up with me throughout the day. It was such a good day, and it's something that I will always remember. And there you guys have it. This is everything that I picked up at Fan Expo Canada this year. I actually did didn't buy too many Funko Pops, but it was so much more enjoyable getting signatures and meeting the actors in person. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It was such a fun experience. As always guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to do those three things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.